Hi there, Gemini. Welcome to your energy reading. And this is for now to the middle of January, so 15th of Jan. I hope you're well. And uh, let's see what's up for you energetically for the upcoming um, 10 days or so. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to pick five cards. And then one card uh, is a message from future self. So this is for Gemini. And here we go, Gemini. Let's see what's at the bottom. The moon. Oh, some illumination happening. But let's see what are your first five cards. You have Page of Swords, the Wheel, Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and Four of Wands. And then we're going to pick one. This is message from the future self. Okay. So let, let's have a look at the energies. Okay. So um, you seem to be working hard at this time for a change of luck. It's almost like you are committed to studying or doing something, doing some research, doing, looking into you know, ideas or having ideas about what is to come. You feel like there is a huge change coming into your life and you, um, it's almost like you are saying, okay, I, I wish to have uh, better luck, you know, in my coming days. So I want to do, I want to be committed to create that luck, almost like that, right? And so you are hardworking, you're doing research, you're reading up, you're doing all the necessary things to create that commitment uh, for a change of direction in your life, or a change of luck, so to speak. So you're pretty hardworking these days, which is nice, right? So whenever we get the wheel, right? I mean, the the, the wheel energy basically is about karma, is about is the wheel of fortune, is about fate, and you know, I feel that we all create our fate. We create our fate by being committed to something. When we are, we create luck, we create fate, right? I mean, with with our commitment to achieving something, the more energy we put into something, the more we allow it to surface. So this is a big turning point, right? A, a huge turning point is coming around the corner for you. Um, even though this reading is up to the middle of January, I feel this energy is going to, you know, this, the wheel is very big, right? And so it's turning. And this turning point is starting and it's going to last for a while, right? It's not just for this 10 days. It's going to last for a while. And um, I would ask of you to continue to be committed to this change, to this growth, to this karmic cycle. Um, you're creating good karma for yourself. You are releasing, you know, anything that no longer serves you. So that's, um, you know, I feel it's a very positive turn. Because this card also says um, fortune. This card is... You know, if, if you look here, there is also the tree of life. So everything is, um, it's a very positive card. It, it's like good luck is on your side. It's like fortune is on your side. And, you know, it. I have a good feeling about this, right? It also talks about security. You feel secure in your position. Um, I mean, if, if just looking at the, the picture, right? I mean, everyone seems in good spirits. Everyone... Uh, is holding a, a pentacle, a disc, and, you know, it feels very complete, right? So there's a sense of security. And this is what is, you know, happening uh, with you. A sense of security when it comes to uh, family matters, right? This has to do with your personal life, okay? Now, if we are, um, I feel, oh, interesting. You have page of sorts here, and this is about investigating. It is about being doing research this is about being hard working right and your hard work is going to pay off you know this energy here is about hard work you're putting in you're putting your heart and soul into something that you want to create in your life um, especially for 2023 so you're putting a lot of hard work but and you will get the rewards because there is a celebration energy it's an energy of harmony coming in so again you know, I have to say that this is not so much about the next 10 days. I feel like this next, what you do in the next 10 days is going to positively impact um, 
your life, you know, for the rest of the year. And, and that's all coming, right? All, all good things coming. But you need to do your work. You need to do your homework. You need to put the hard work in. You need to do your research. You need to really, you know, work through the stuff. And then you will change your fortune. You will change the karma, karmic cycle, so to speak, right? So very positive reading. So you do have to, to play your part in order to get the results that you want. Okay, so let's get some clarifiers here. Um, you know, additional messages here for Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know or what else does Gemini um, need to focus on um, for the coming days? Okay, so you do have a sense of purity here. Happy thoughts, this is nice. Now, this is also energy of happiness, the celebration um, energy here, this energy of harmony. So happy thoughts. So keep a focus on your happy thoughts. The two cards here, simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. Anything that's extra, just let it go. And definitely, yes, the answer to your question is a strong yes. So if you can think of a question like you can't decide on a certain decision, the answer is definitely yes. A very strong yes here for you. I feel like whatever it is that you are hoping to create a better future for yourself, you want a change of fortune, right? A change of, karmic ties, right? And, and, you know, you're asking, oh, should I do it? Should I not? Well, it's definitely yes. Okay, it's good energy here. Let's see what else does Gemini need to know. So Gemini, if this message resonates with you, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel um, just so that more people can get the same messages as you. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now right? This is prosperity energy. Change of fortune. All right, let me put it here. Okay. Very good. Very positive. I like, I like that for you, Gemini. Let's get one more from the angels. Let's see what else, what other messages for Gemini in the upcoming days. And cut the deck. Yeah, from the bottom, dreams coming true. So if you've been dreaming about something that you want, uh, it's coming true, right? Very positive. So let's see what is the message from future self. Ah, six of cups. So this energy is really about taking care of yourself. Uh, tender, loving care towards self, very important. And also whatever situation that you are facing, um, face it with tenderness. Right, not to be harsh, not to be extremely critical, because the more tender you are and gentle in the way you treat the situation or treat yourself, then whatever you want, right, you will change the fortune. Whatever you want uh, will come, will happen for you. And you know, whether it's stepping out into a new life, whether it's a major life decision, um, don't handle it harshly or critically. Just be gentle with it, and then you allow softening your heart so that energies can come in. Okay, six of cards is always about tender, loving care, nurturing self, right? So let's get some clarifiers for six of cups here for you, Gemini. So we'll pick three cards and see. Okay. And we have... I can't see this. Four of Pentacles. Did we get four of Pentacles? Oh, we have four of Wands. Okay. So four of Pentacles is uh, talking about you looking at long-term security and you are definitely working through, right? So with tender loving care, look towards um, how you can have um, long-term security, how you have clear boundaries with others as you are moving through um, this change in your life, this phase of change, right? So uh, save up as much as you can um, because in the long term, you will find that, you know, it's going to be beneficial for you, okay? Nice one. Next, we have here Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles um, is talking about, you know, when you face adversity, when you face hardship, just be tender and loving towards yourself be gentle with yourself and i feel like you know this ties in with this because this is four of pentacles this is five of pentacles 
right? So it's important that you have long-term security, that you look at what can you do, how can you save money, how can you uh, be, be better managing your money? Because if, you know, times like, let's say you become, uh, you face adversity or financial loss, then you have a backup, okay? The, this is the backup, all right? Let's see. And then we have the higher fund. Higher fund is about educating yourself. And I think that's what you're doing anyway. You are educating yourself, right? The education, hard working. You're educating yourself. And this is about knowledge. It's about making sure that you do your homework. You have the knowledge so that whatever you're going to go through in this change in your life, that you will have enough. You have the security. And also um, look into your belief system. What are some of the belief systems that you have that are still holding you back, that are still maybe crippling you or, or making you a little bit more handicapped. Some of these belief systems can hold us back and they are not very forward move. They're not forward movement, right? Um, they, can, they can hold us down or they can move us backwards. So look into that. That is important to look into. Uh, let's pick one more card as a clarifier for this. Okay. One more clarify for the Hierophant. Okay. And we have the devil, right? Devil energy really is about being stuck in a situation, um, being tied to a situation and it's agitating you, right? So the devil energy is that. So whenever the devil energy comes up for you, when you experience this agitation or being stuck in a situation, always recognize that you need to release some of the belief systems that you have that are holding you back. How can you free yourself from that? And then treat yourself with tender, loving care. Do your homework, right? And these two talking about doing your homework. Make sure that you have um, the, the knowledge and the know-how to do things properly. And then, of course, you know, then you'll be fine. The outcome will be wonderful, will be in harmony, happy thoughts, okay? So this will come up once in a while, right? The devil energy will agitate you once in a while. Don't fall into the trap by, by spiraling out. Just keep your focus on doing your homework, doing what is best for yourself, and then know that the fortunes are changing for you, okay? Keep that as your focus, Gemini, and you will be fine, okay? So remember, tender, loving care towards self, and then um, go on from there. Always remember, dreams do come true. So Gemini, if this message resonates with you, uh, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. If you need more clarity about your personal journey, um, you can always book a private session. And uh, also, um, yeah, um, sorry, <laughs> book a private session and details are below this video, okay? So I have a wonderful, wonderful um, first half of January. I will see you again. God bless and namaste.